Beijing, as said by the famous writer Lao Shi. This street is called Fujing Cultural Street. Alongside this street, you'll find very important museums, very nice churches, and imperial places of worshipping. Also, there's a very famous pagoda we're gonna explore more. So, this street is very special also because it kind of helps you to project back in time of 700 years. That's amazing, right? The White Tower standing at my back is called the White Pagoda. It's part of the composition of the White Pagoda Temple, a very important monument which was built during the Yuan Dynasty by a very famous Nepal architect. The Pagoda is actually the biggest and tallest one in the whole city. This temple has actually also got another very important feature because people in the neighborhood think that it doesn't have a shadow. Why do you think is that? Well, some research explains that there are two main reasons because of that. The first reason is because, as you can see around, the neighborhood is very narrow and the shadow gets fragmented. While the second reason is because its shadow is pretty conic, which makes it to be not that visible when it comes to its shadow. We are now arriving at the first part of today, the Museum of Lu Xu. Lu Xu is a very historical important figure here in China and he was especially great at having a very deep and sharp analysis of the personality of people. This is reflected in all the domains he was mastering, such as translations, prose, or research of literature and art. This contribution he gave to the China of the 20th century, making the most well-known author in Southeast Asia at that time. So let's go and find out more. This place, the Worship Temple, is the place where ancestors of the emperor used to be worshipped by emperors. This place is so close to the Forbidden City that actually in 16 minutes you can get there. It's so wonderful, right? This is why I highly recommend just to rent a bike, enjoy the sunlight and come here to have fun around Beijing. Worshipping the ancestors is the most important spiritual practice in China. This temple has witnessed the traditional mores of Chinese people, such as respect for history and ancestors, and witnessed the development of Chinese nation as a united and multinationality state. And the visit to the west side of this street for today is over. On the east side of the street you will find important tourist spots as the Forbidden City, Jinshan Park and other very important tourist spots. If you happen to be in Beijing for just a couple of days, this is why we highly recommend you to come here. You can visit this street from the west side to the east side and enjoy an amazing time. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Let's Locals and don't forget to put a like. Follow us for new adventures. Let's look out.